The president's budget proposal eliminates public media funding. Learn how you can help at lptv.org action. Just like the President of the United States delivers a yearly State of the Union to address the public, the Red Lake Nation chairman does the same to his members. Haiti Clotter tells us how Red Lake Nation plans to move forward in 2017. Dancing to the beat of their own drum, the State of the Band address to Red Lake Nation members was set to begin. <laughs> the Seven Clans Casino and Event Center was packed with hundreds of people, including Red Lake Nation members and special invited guests to hear the nation's agenda. I hope they understand the projects we're doing this year for 2017. Within the year, Red Lake Nation increased their membership with 145 new members and now has a total of almost 12,000 members. Red Lake Chairman Daryl Siki discussed upcoming projects for the community to further develop economic growth. A dialysis center, fire department, and dependency treatment center are in the works. With the growth of Red Lake Nation, the infrastructure, and uh, more jobs, and there's going to be some revenues coming in for the tribe for future endeavors and uh, investments. Tribal members agree that the community believes in its youth and invests in their future. The youth are definitely what's going to continue to help us move forward. You know, those are the people that we have to focus on. Even the Red Lake Warriors boys and girls basketball teams were recognized for their participation in the state tournament. <laughs> Director of Economic Development and Planning Samuel Strong sees the future of Red Lake Nation headed in a positive direction. Look at what we can do collectively. Together we can accomplish much, and today is a good example of that. In Red Lake, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. Chairman Siki also announced that Red Lake Nation will soon have its own radio station, 105.3. The new station will broadcast the Warriors basketball team's games. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.